So what do you got here? What's this guy? What am I making? Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a little horse, a little mule. Yeah. When did you start it? I just started it last night. And this one's right here this morning. Huh? What's underneath the tape? This? Yeah. Little plastic bags. See, like these little bags, yeah, I feed my birds out of bread. Uh -huh. I just get a bunch of them to tie them up and make a little stuff out of them. Well, they kind of look like one in a horse, don't they? Mm -hmm. A little meal, rather. Oh, this is another one. Yeah, that's going to be more. This is oh, hold that up. Let me see. That's without all the tape. Yeah. This is a fish. Do you ever catch fish that you can eat? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah? I catch. A lot of the older people right here, I catch them and clean them and give them to them. Oh, and that's um, nice. uh, we have, I got, I got a freezer full of fish now, and I give this man live right over there. He'll take all of But I guess I got 200 pounds of fish in the freezer now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cold out yeah. yeah. When I start a new thing, I never know what it's going to look like. And uh, whatever it looks like, that's what I make it be. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't go out to make a a man, I don't go out to make a dog, I don't go out to make, you know, certain things. The only thing that I did do down, like I was telling you a while ago, I'll show it to you in a few minutes. When 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 I when my pastor died up here, all the members left but my wife and I and uh, deacon and and in in in, in the, the preacher's wife and his daughter. And so I made that little thing in there. And so I know what I was doing about that, but that's about it. Were they wearing clothes like that? Yeah. Yeah, they all dressed the same way. These different birds, I just, I just make up birds, you know. I don't know. I've never seen none like some of these I made up, and some of these dogs and things I never seen. But anything, I, you know, I just like I say, it's a lot of stuff I do, and this one right there, I try to paint, and it it, it looks pretty good, but it ain't good like it should be. What is this? What is this? That's a little old monkey thing. I just yeah. But what's oh, that well, here? That's some of uh, my wife's uh, false hair. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Wait, use, use what again? Uh, her, her false hair. Yeah? Yeah. So every time they change the style, she'd have to change her well, hair? Well, you know, they change, you know, these women going to change styles, man, because it's, it's all different styles now. you got these, I don't know, jerry curls, and then you got these plaits, and I don't know what all you call them, but... Uh, but anyway, she was going to throw it away, so I just said, well, I can, I can make something out of that, too, so... And it's it's nothing it's nothing right now and it's nothing that I can't make something out of. It's just it's amazing what you have down in you and don't even know it until you start doing it. You know, uh, y years ago when I was younger, I could carve. I could take a knife and carve and make anything, and I could I could paint. Well, I guess you see where I've been trying to paint, but after I got older, I just quit doing that and. Uh, Right now, I, I got to doing this, and it, and it seems like you just can't stop because you don't want to throw that stuff away no more. So, but that's just, it's just it's just wonderful, you know. Just. So, when you were a child, were you making art? Ma'am. When you were a child, were you making art? Yeah, when I was a child, uh, you know, like when when Thanksgiving, Christmas come, the teacher would get me to to to, to paint 
uh, like Thanksgiving, paint shocks of corn and and pumpkins and stuff on the windows. When Christmas comes, you get me to put Santa Clauses on there and, and and Thanksgiving turkeys and stuff like that. And you just see a turkey one time, and then you can you can draw it, you know. And like I say, it just got away. So that that drawing ability that just came to you natural. That was just that was just in there. You know, a lot of people have to take courses and stuff for it, but it was just it was just there. And, and and like the carving, I could take knife and carve stuff. It's like I'm making this stuff now, like this carve stuff like that, and it's 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 gone. Well, I guess it's gone, but I ain't done it no more. I ain't even got that no use to do it no more. I've never caught a bass. I've always wanted to. What's it like? Let's, they they are real smart fish. They can they can jump so high, and when you when you uh, hook them with a plug, mm -hmm. they can jump so high that they can throw that plug right back at you. Mm. And you got to be really careful because sometimes it'll hit you right in the face. And, but most of them I caught I caught them off of night crawlers though. Oh yeah. Are there plenty of those around? You can just dig those up, or we used to could dig them up. And now you got to buy them at Walmart. Walmart sells it. Walmart sells everything now. Okay, let's talk about where were you born? Uh, Manchester, Tennessee. Now you ain't gonna believe this. At nine years old, I was using a horse plowing, plowing gardens. With nine years old, you were using a horse what? You know how you plow corn with a with a plow? I was plowing corns and stuff at nine years old. Oh. There it was. So so I've been a man for a long time. Like I said, my mother when my mother died, you know, you I guess I was the man of the house and my oldest sister, she's seventeen, I guess she was the lady of the house, but I think we done a good job, none of us got on drugs, alcohol or nothing, so and we just don't. And I had a, I don't know what happened to that little woman. I had a little woman sitting in this chair, and she had disappeared, so I put this in there. Let me see that, turn around. Can I see it? Yeah. You had a little woman in there, huh? Yeah. And I had, she had, she had, fought, and ran away. And she had false curly hair, too, and I don't know where she got to. Do you have favorites in the group? And right there is one of the first things. See little, them little rabbits and dogs right there? Yeah. That's one of the first things that I ever made. And I thought that was what the most wonderful thing that I ever seen. It's so real. The rabbits and the dog was real, but the man didn't look real. So I said I was going to redo that, but I said, no, that's one of the first ones I've done, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Are you going to keep making these until? Until my wife made me stop. She said, she, t she said, I need to quit making it go. You get where you can't hardly walk, you can't dust, and you can't, well, it is dusty and spider webs and stuff get in here, but we get spray and stuff and spray it, but she's right. Is she? Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, you can look and see all this stuff here. And, uh, do you enjoy living amongst all of the all of the uh, sculptures? Yes, I do. And uh, my little nephew told me the other day, he said, Uncle Willis, you know what? He said, you're going to wake up one of these mornings and every bit of this stuff in here going to be walking. <laughs> and I got I got to thinking about that because some, some I makes that you can move their feet. I got some stuff in there now that you can move their feet and legs. And so I forgot this morning I... I pulled that little arm up, and I was sitting there watching television, and then after a while I seen it easing down, and I forgot that I had done that. And I thought about what he said. <laughs> so. Do you feel like they're alive in any way? Like, is there a soul? No, that's that just what he told me. No, they're not alive. I don't feel like it. If I did, I'd quit making them. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, it, if all this stuff come alive, and you just think about 
I guess if it could come alive, all of it would have a different mind and they would know what they're doing in here. And so they might gang you, or, you know, but I don't ever think about that. I just thought about what he said. Yeah. Yes, sir. Got a whole bunch of stuff. So how long do you think before uh, your wife says you got to stop doing it? <laughs> she, she done already said it two or three times, but I ain't going to stop till I get ready anyway. So. Oh, yeah.